Well, K-State women's basketball will be without All-American center Aoka Lee, and that's going to be after knee surgery, but it doesn't mean that the team won't be fun to watch. Yeah, plenty of playmakers still left on their squad for sure. I sat down with head coach Jeff Mitty to find out what we should expect from the Wildcats this season. All right, coach, thanks so much for your time. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room, and I guess we'll get to more of the good news after that. But Aoka Lee, one of the best college basketball players in the country, will miss the season after undergoing knee surgery. How do you and your team deal with news like that? Well, nobody likes the news, but um, fortunately for her, the surgery has gone well. She's recovering well. Um, but from a basketball standpoint, I think the positive is we didn't have her this summer. We were hoping a, a midsummer procedure would hopefully uh, correct some things. It didn't. You know, injuries happen in athletics. They're an unfortunate part of uh, our sport, but um, teams adjust. Our group's done that. I think our group's played pretty well. Um, she's a big piece to miss, but um, I think we've got a good group. Yeah, and she did say she's going to come back next year, so one more year that she will play at K-State. What does that say about her and her character, but also probably about the culture and the program that you guys are building at Kansas State that she wants to come back and, and make sure she plays that final season here? Well, especially in today's environment. You know, mm -hmm. it's rare, but uh, I think she loves K-State. She loves her academics. She loves her teammates. Uh, she's had a great experience here. Uh, she's done obviously special things in every area. She's a great representative of Kansas State, so we're excited about that. Yeah, and still obviously a ton to be excited about with Kansas State women's basketball besides just Ioka Lee and her return next year. This year you guys had three freshmen and more young players that really shined last year. Tell me about the team that you do have that will be taking the court this year. Yeah, I think it will be a good combination of a group that got a lot of experience last year. You mentioned the three freshmen, uh, Sundell and the Glenn Twins, you know, played uh, roughly 30 minutes a game. They also had some experience this summer playing in two different three-on-three -three tournaments. Uh, one of the three-on-three -three tournaments was about 90% pro teams. And uh, I think they've really, really grown. Um, you've got a player like Emily Ebert, who's been a little banged up this summer, but she's a returning starter as well. And we've got some exciting new pieces that we've added. Um, we've got from the transfer portal, Gabby Gregory, who a couple years ago was an all Big 12 performer at Oklahoma. Heavenly Greer sat out. You've also got Sarah Shamatsi from LSU. And then you've got a freshman class that I think has got some good upside to them. And you've been coaching college basketball for a long time, heading into year number nine at K-State. What is it about this group that maybe makes this group unique or different from other teams that you've coached? Well, and boy, I think every year is unique. And every team takes on a, a personality. Every team hopefully finds their identity. And, and in our case, we're still kind of finding that. You know, that would be the probably the biggest change for this team is that um, we had an identity, we had a piece, mm -hmm. but this team has worked hard to forge their new identity. And uh, I've liked what I've seen in practice. I think they've had a good mentality. Um, ironically, offense is ahead of our defense right now, which is really unusual, and I would not have expected that. Um, we've got a lot of work to do at the defensive end. Offensively, um, they seem to have picked things up quicker than I expected. So every year brings its own challenges, but this particular team's journey um, has been a little different than I've seen in the past. Correct me if I'm wrong, 599 career wins for you? Do you yeah. keep track of that at all? Or are you making sure you're going to get at least one this year then, right? Everybody will always tell you, boy, wish we'd have got that last year. Or Yeah, you, you always have the what ifs, but um, it's a number in coaching that it says longevity. It, it, all the things you say, good staff, good players, all the things. We've had a good eight years here at Kansas State. We we're going into our ninth. Um, uh, I've been pleased with our progress. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting that in the rear view mirror, though, so the earlier the better. Yeah, <laughs> check that one off the box and then kind yeah, of get yeah, on with the, it from there. The earlier the better. Yeah, I love it. Now, i got toughest question of the day for you now between if you had to pick a Glenn, me, Briley Glenn, and Jalen Glenn. Tough choice. Who are you picking? Well, I'm going to pick two. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might be left out here. You are going to be left out. You <laughs> oh, are no. going to be left out. But uh, I'm going to pick those two. What we saw from them last year is rare. And I'll include Sundell in this part of it. But to see freshmen go the distance, go and not have too many hills and valleys, that's not easy to do as a freshman. I'm only minorly offended, but I figured <laughs> that you wouldn't. I knew you were smart enough not to pick just one of them because yeah, you made mad. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's all I got for you, Coach. All Thanks right. so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. They, they're going to have a really good team. Not, I think they'll be pretty good this year, but then next year, Aoka Lee will come back, and those three sophomores that he just talked about will then be juniors. So you got to oh, yeah. watch out for them the following season. Yeah, a lot of excitement with that. Yeah.